and six at Royal Oracle. <laughs> Chris Paul uh, coming off that emotional Game 5 win. And Steph Curry, as we said, only 10 field goal attempts in Game 5. Needed more out of him, so they would get it. Came out aggressive, did Steph. Yes, he did, Vince. First quarter, hit 6 of 12 from the field, letting it fly. Just playing with great confidence and energy and letting his team know, you're riding my way tonight. 14 points in that first one. It's a thing of beauty to watch him shoot a basketball. It really is. Zeke was saying it's like it's Da Vinci, man. <laughs> <laughs> like watching Picasso paint. And then DeAndre Jordan, big throwdown. The big fella's come alive. He really has another night where he just pretty much destroyed the glass, had 19 mm -hmm. rebounds. Darren Collison drive, missing. Jermaine O'Neal, the rebound. Oh, my goodness. This is what we were talking about. Yeah. Hate Glenn Davis that. running into his, his knee. Oh. Oh. Oh, stayed down on the floor for a while, then walking off gingerly with a sprained okay. right knee. Again. Worked so hard to get back to his form. Yep, x-rays negative. It's not like they have a ton of big people. J.J. Reddick, yay, yay, starting to find it. Clippers up by one. Chris Paul, Matt Barnes, and on the other end, the Warriors push the basketball. And Draymond Green fouled by Paul, and that's his third of the game. So Chris Paul had to go to the bench. And while he's on the bench, he has that left hand look at it. Yeah, it looks like he may have uh, jammed his thumb or banged it somewhere when he fell on the ground or off of Draymond's leg, maybe. Well, the Clippers up by three, and then Blake, not there. A lot of jump shots. Uh, Isaiah and I were watching, like, no big fellas. How come he's shooting too many jump shots right here, Zeke? Well, I, I think they're, they're throwing him off of his rhythm because mm. they're double teaming him uh, at times. Sometimes they're playing him straight up. I think uh, Green is doing a good job pushing him off the block. And when he puts it on the floor, they send in the double team sometimes on the first dribble, sometimes on the second dribble, sometimes on the catch. So they got him pretty much confused. Yeah, we saw Steph Curry to the basket, then David Lee from Draymond Green, who's a real uh, uh, energy guy for the Warriors. <laughs> and then the dance instructor, as Smitty <laughs> likes to call him, Joe Ball. Thank it in threes. <laughs> sure. It. It's a four point lead for Golden State. Lake with the basketball. Drives on David Lee. There and you Lee. Go. That's it. We'll have a seat. Let's see, you're not selling for jump shots. You're attacking David Lee. You're putting the ball on the floor using your strength and athleticism. Fouled out of the game. Three point lead, though, for Golden State. And then Maurice Spates comes in for Lee and provides a spark. Spates from Clay Thompson. Floater and foul. 83 77 after the made free throw. Igodala, this was the three. And honestly, Blake basically. Touched him on the shorts. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Ryan Thorne looks at it and say, "Yes, look at it. It is a touch foul, but that is a flop mm. after the foul." I mean, you know, he didn't touch you that hard for that extra activity, so I'm yeah. surprised it might be a warning or something. Yep. But the Clippers are, are, are sticking around because they have other guys that can shoot the ball, like Crawford, and and then the alley oop, the Lob City action to the Andre Jordan. Clippers are down by four minute left. Chris Paul drives. No, good job, Clay Thompson. They've gotten a finger on that to knock that ball off the rim. And the Warriors hang on, so we will have another Game 7 on Saturday as the series is tied at three apiece.